Hola, I'm Christian and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to look at the Small Rig RC120D versus the Godox SL60 daylight version. Now we're going to look at these two, we're not going to go into tech specs, we're going to look at the differences between the two lights with the image to see one, if you can get away with a Godox SL60, two, to see how much brighter in real world usage the RC120D is and if it's worth the extra money. Now with current sales on with these two there is currently about £50 difference between the two lights but is the RC120D worth that £50 difference? Well let's have a look at some of the features and the image differences and let's determine if it's worth that extra money or not. Okay, so all the intro footage and this footage right now is being recorded using the Godox SL60. And it's currently just over an arm's length away from me. And I'm currently using a 36 inch parabolic softbox. So we're gonna do the tests between the two at exactly the same distance, exactly the same setups and same camera settings. So we're currently using a Canon EOS R. We're at a native ISO of 400, so I'm gonna keep the camera settings are exactly the same. We're at f4 and 1 50th of a shutter speed because we're at 24 frames per second. Got the Bluetooth features on this, so you've got nine different effects that you can use with the RC120D. Now, some of those will work better if you have the RC120B, which is the bicolor version, because they're things like flame, so it's naturally going to be colored more to the B. But you have got nine different effects that you can use, and obviously, you can color gel these as well, should you want to. Now, the real reason we're here is actually to see how much brighter, if any, this is than that. This is a 60 watt, this is a 120 watt, but do we physically see it in an image difference? So we'll do a reflection on a wall to see actually how bright they are with the same camera settings. And then we will do an image test like this to see if it is actually brighter. Okay, so like I said, the intro footage has been recorded with the Godox SL60. So this is the current setup for the Godox SL60. We're now going to flip over to the RC120D so we can see the difference with the light to see what percentage we'd need to be at to get it to this level and how bright it would be with the settings exactly the same at 100%. Okay, so the RC120D is brighter at the same settings. Now, when I checked the Godox SL60, it was actually only at 82%. Now, I'd obviously subconsciously set the light to the right amount for the exposure of the camera. But as you can see, this is brighter. Now, to get the same sort of exposure from the same value, you could use an ND with the equivalent of about an ND2. Or, with the RC120, you can just use the app to turn it down now to get the same sort of exposure i think we're going to be need to be about 50 50 55 percent to get the same exposure as the godox sl60 okay so we have the grid on the sl60 and as you can see the image is considerably darker now the grid does narrow the the light down considerably so it does take some of the light off my face but I would probably want the SL6 to be slightly brighter in this scenario. I would have to bump my ISO up slightly to get the same compensation for exposure as I did in the previous image. Let's have a look at how the RC120D performs under the same circumstances. Okay, so all I've done so far is put the grid on, it's still at 50%. So if I put this up to 82%, so I'm gonna type in the actual value that I want into the app, 82, done. As you can see, it's much better with a grid on and it's not even on 
full. It does a much better job at isolating my face, just lighting me while leaving these two lights in the background so you can actually see them. So it's much better from a talking head point of view. Now the Godox, you, you can go to 100, but it does still struggle with this sort of scenario in my experience. With this, if you just straight to 100, again, it's even brighter. It just blows the Godox SL60 out of the water. Let's have a look at these two lights side by side using the reflector. So putting a spot onto a wall. Let's see how bright these two lights are. And I will label over the top which light is which. Here we have the small rig RC120 with its reflector. Here is the Godox SL60 with exactly the same settings. Now the advantage of the RC120 is you can use the app to change how bright the light is, which is a huge advantage and you can save presets. And you can also, if you want to with the RC120D, you can buy a whole ton of these and link them all so they are, have their own settings to create lighting scenarios so you can just switch them on. They'll be set to the right lighting values that you want them to be set to. So that is a huge bonus. The only downside is this app is not the best app in the world. It asks you for a verification for code every time that you sign into it. I mean, that's rather annoying because you then have to get a verification code via email. And if you forget to do it, when you go somewhere, say you could be on location and you've got no signal, you're not getting into your app. So that is a bit frustrating, but the fact that it has an app and you can use it and you can change the, the lighting value while you're in the app, I mean, it is, it is a pretty good feature to be fair. One thing I did notice when I switched this on it's considerably quieter than the Godox, like considerably quieter. The Godox makes quite a lot of fan noise. It's, it's quite a loud for ambient noise. I can't even hear this while it's on. So for from my point of view, for the monetary difference alone, it's worth it for that point of view. Okay. So is the RC120D worth the extra money over the Godox SL60? In my opinion, yes, it is. Uh, it is obviously a completely different light. And although they are only £50 difference, it is worth that extra money. So £50, $50. You can buy the Godox SL60 for about £120. You can buy the small rig for about £180. So £60 difference. It is worth that extra money. The fact that you have the app that you can use to control it, so you don't have to get up to control your lighting scenario, that's a bonus. The fact that you've got the effects within the app as well. So if you want to build lighting scenes, this has preset effects in it, which is a great bonus if you're looking to try and build scenes for small documentaries, or if you want to start making small movies or scenes that aren't for YouTube, it's a great bonus. It's quieter, it's actually slightly lighter. You get the, the bag and the cable clips in so it doesn't fall out, which for me is a massive bonus. And one thing that I didn't mention is small rig actually have the ability to connect them to a V-mount battery so you can use it from battery power. Now, in some places in the UK at the moment, there is an offer on where you get the V-mount the V mount included. You don't get the battery, but you do get the V-mount. So all you will need is a V-mount battery to then power it while on the go. Obviously, there are some downsides to things like the app with this. It's not the most refined, but I think the benefits completely outweigh the cons of that app. Now, saying that, if you're starting and you want a light that is for YouTube and you don't want to break the bank, the SL60 is still a good purchase. You can buy a light stand, some diffusion, and the light potentially for less than you, what you can buy this one light. So if it's your first light and you only want it for things like talking heads, it is still worth the money. I've had the Godox SL60 for two years and I've used it for all sorts of things. I've taught, used it from product photography, product videos, talking heads. I've used it for adverts. I've used it for tutorial videos for work. It really has been worth the money that I've spent on it. And I probably won't get rid of it. I will always have a need for it. 
That's it. I hope you found this video informative with some comparisons rather than just tech jargon. I'm Christian and I will see you soon for some more videos. Ciao.